Hello, hello， 大家好，我是李丁。<笑>我们继续这个吧，标准教程。我们开启学习第十八课神奇的丝瓜。神奇的丝瓜，丝瓜是什么？是这这种那个啊蔬菜。写到了一百七十六页，嘟嘟嘟嘟嘟。丝瓜，啊、uh, ，OK， 所以好像我们在呃，嗯，学一部分的，啊、呃，那个呃，植物生生物，<笑>植物生物学，对吗 ？Plant biology， 嗯，丝瓜就是这个植物，瓜精 ，OK， 瓜精或者是茎，茎 ，This word you need to know， 茎 means stem。有花精，啊、uh, ，maybe we'll just look at it as 花精，花精，啊，精，精 means stem， 嗯，啊 ，however，okay，it is a fairly rare character。Where is it？ 花精，稍等一下。<laughs> Oh, 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 no! It's a fairly rare character. <laughs> um, yeah, you can say other things like gun and um, gun. No, gun, shoe gun. Uh, yeah. Hua jing, hua jing, stem. Okay, so the stem of a flower. They used gua, gua jing, gua. This is gua. 南瓜的瓜，瓜精。Okay, so the stem of the 瓜 <laughs> different types of 瓜 the stem. Um. Ah,、oh, okay. So the other no, gun is root, right? That's underground. I said the wrong thing. Um. What was I thinking? Um. Yeah. Okay. 树干，这个干，树干 is its trunk. <laughs> Um, right. Shugen is the roots there underground. Shugen. Yeah, there is another word for stem. Um, plant stem. Maybe it's just ding. Cell. Plant cell. Stem cells. Maybe. Like a tongue vine. Thing. Not really relevant. Plant stem, lowest root. Do do do. Young jiao zhi wu jing. They use jing there. They use jing there. They use jing there. Okay, no, maybe I'm wrong. It looks like I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, jing. Um, yeah, nigga jing. It's a fairly rare character. I don't think it's a HSK character. Um, but. It's not that hard to learn. <laughs> It's kind of unique. Not many characters look like that.、Um, there is one other character which I may just tell you exists,、um, but since this one, Yin Jing,、um, it does exist. You need to know this character.、Uh, you need to know this word. I should say Yin. Yin is shady. You probably know Yin Yang. Yin Yang. Yin Yang. This kind of concept of In the West, we say yin and yang, <laughs> yin yang, yin and yang, yin yang.、Uh, yin,、uh, okay, okay. Yang, you probably know, is tai yang,、um, pertaining to the sun and brightness and so on. Yin,、um, yin is、uh, shady, right? So you can say yin tian, right? Yin tian,、um, and that means it's an overcast day. Um, yin. Uh, pertains to the moon,、um, but I don't really encounter it referring directly to the moon.、Um, so in Chinese,、uh, there's these metaphors where women are represented by the moon and men are represented by the sun. So the sun is light,、uh, um, yeah, positive. Yeah, that's another one again. I'll, I'll get to that. Positive、um, male. Um, and brightness, whereas 
yin is yeah uh negative female and darkness well not darkness but gloomy <laughs> shady um maybe it is darkness darkness is an no i don't think it's darkness it's more more of a gentle shade it's yin okay so um so when we all got tested for a coronavirus chung um chung yin uh, maybe I'll just put test positive. So you test positive for some disease, right? This is Taiyang the Yang. So this positive, when you're testing positive for a disease, it's kind of a bad thing. <laughs> Um, and test negative would be opposite, right? Um, yin xing, negative. So that's the positive negative one. So you test positive, test negative is um, yin yang, yin negative, yang positive. So male's got the positive one. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, so I just wanted to mention the existence of uh, yin jing um, because you need to know that word but I don't want to get too far down that rabbit hole. Um, what's the other one? Um, oh, the other one is yin dao. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, well, I want to just point out that these words exist. Um, we need to know them but let's move on to something else. Um, wa jing wa Yeah, all right, quieting. So it seems, yeah, stem. <clears throat> all right, uh, sugwa is the plant itself. Um, oh, it's also the vegetable. What's the, is the plant also called sugwa? I don't know. The gua should be sugwa. Yeah, the, the fruit should be sugwa. Turang, um, yeah, turang, you can say turang, you can also say like tudi. <laughs> um, turang, if you plan to take the handwritten test, learning to handwrite this character is quite a challenge. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, yeah means yeah, it's it, right? So this, this yeah is kind of being used as a suffix, right? This yeah, it's a button, yeah, it's it. And huaban, huaban is petal. Um, okay, so when you think of huaban, you think of much more colorful things than what's in the photo there. Huaban. Yeah, this is what you think of, right? Huaban, megui huaban, huaban. Megui huaban. Oh, sorry, I said it wrong. Huaban. Oh, okay. I'll jot that down. Uh, okay, and the other thing you need to notice is this ban in, be in between the two sins uh, is a uh, wa. It's different to ban ma. Ban ma. Ban ma. Ban ma is the first tone. Ban ma. Ban ma. Ban meaning stripes and so on. And this is, um, okay, uh, hua bian, no, hua bian, I got it wrong again, hua bian, hua bian, hua, no! <laughs> ah, I'm getting further away from the truth. Hua ban, hua ban. Uh, the other one is, uh, bian, nigga, xiao bian, you know xiao bian, xiao bian, yeah, this is bian. Um, yeah, little kids will have like little, you know, shopians. <laughs> like here. Bianzi. Bianzi jafa. 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 No, za, zafa. Za, you need za bianzi. You tie up your hair. Za bianzi. Into a braid or something like that. Bianzi. Bianzi. Huh? Um... Okay, um, sorry, I might check, I've been doing something, so.
Um, what else do you have? Oh, there's two Bians. Bian Hu and Bian Nguyen. No, it's the same. Bian Hu, Bian, uh, Bian Bie. This one, they're kind of similar. Um, and that's it, I think, of the ones you would want to learn. Bian Hu is to defend, defend an argument and BMBA is to differentiate between multiple things. We've encountered them before. So there's five of them, right? That are kind of written similar. If you study handwriting, you need to know this. Uh, bien, uh, not bien, um, uh, hua ban, hua ban, ban ma. Oh, that one's totally different, isn't it? That's not even the same on the left and right. Ban ma, yeah. So ban ma and shan ban. These are kind of similar, so they're not, uh, they're different altogether. So there's those, those four. Any others? Not really. All right. What if I do this? So this one, this guy's teaching all these characters, right? Bien, bien, bien. Okay, so that was pretty close. So the only exception is hua ban de ban is pronounced differently. Then they're all fourth tone. <laughs> bian 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 ban. Okay. So I'm a chu fan. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. You can see the teacher. Ban. Bian. 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 Hua ban. Oh, look at this. Let's read. Let's look at this. You got cold. You cold. Yeah. No. You got cold. Jue chao ji. Ban, bian, bian, bian. Uh, why isn't it loading? I want to read her. Okay, let's just read it from here. Hua ban, lo le, jie da gua. Si, si dai lai ba, yao ban, ja, za. Oh, okay, so the second one is talking about doing your hair up. Xiao Bian Jia Nung Yan Shan Yu Ba Li Bian Dian Ye Chao Jiang Fen Bian Da Is that a da? Da pay the da? Can't see. So she's written a little poem for remembering these four characters. All right. Okay, hua ban, tu rang. Um, yeah, tu rang. You can do tu di or tu pian <laughs> or just tu. <laughs> um, oh, di tu. No, no, di di tu is map, right? No, not di tu. Tu di, tu di, not di tu. <laughs> di tu. Now I need to look it up. Di tu. Yeah, there is no di tu. There is there is di tu. There's this one, but there is no, there's tu di. Tu di, much easier to write. <laughs> um, oh, did I click on the wrong one? Yeah, much easier to write, right? Tu di, <laughs> than tu rang. Tu rang, you get wrong, you lose marks. Colfin. Um, all right, next. And uh, the way. All right, sorry, I'll just move my pens over here. So I can move my stuff more easily. Sui. Um, okay, sui. Sui. Um, sui means, what does it mean? Like arbitrarily or freely or something. Um, okay, there's quite a few words, um, yeah, using this. So let's do them. I don't think they're all that closely re related. Sui di, sui ji, sui shen, sui shou, sui ho. Um, sui tong. I don't know that one. Where's my green? Sui tong. Sui bian, sui shi, sui ko, sui yi. Um, sui yi, sui di, gun sui. All right. So I think some of them have different meanings. They're not. They're not just um. All the, the, I don't think sui means the same thing in all these words. <clears throat> um, okay, sui ji and sui ho are related. 
um, just those two. Suiji. Suiji is used meaning like afterwards or next round. Suiji. Soon after that. Yeah, that's a good definition. So not long after going out. And I think is basically the same. Um, yeah, I don't know. What's the difference? They look very, very similar to me. I'll go shortly after. Yeah. So, okay, Chang Yong Jiu Lian Yong. I don't know. Anyway, so I think Sui Ji and Sui Ho. Um, I don't know, much the same. Maybe I'll use Sui Ho, because Ho is easier to write than Ji. <laughs> I want to, if I take the handwriting uh, um, test, yeah, you need to pay attention. Oh, I think I'll use Sui Ho in the future. And so, and so, so it's easier to handwrite. Hmm. Okay, Suiji. Mm. Suiji is a special one. Um, yeah, Suiji is a special one. It's very common. <laughs> so we'll look it up. Um, Suiji. Yeah, is this kind of along with? Okay, Genji. Um, this is one of the most common phrases. Um, so I suggest you use this in your speech and your writing. Because it sounds really fluent, but it is, it's like as time goes by. Um, yeah. Um, so it means, this suage, it means, usually means some kind of change is happening. And as this change is happening, some other change is happening. Right? That's good. Mm, this is used more figuratively. It's not literally, it's not A caused B. It's as time goes on, the city became more developed or something like that. Okay, so this is literal, this is the literal version, right? You walk in front, maybe it's my teacher. Uh, you walk in front, and I will um, I will follow behind. So this is the literal definition. But I'm going to be honest, I almost never encountered this as the literal following. I encountered this as the literal following. Genji. Yeah, this is the literal, uh, the one I encounter most of the time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So do you understand? So as uh is like commodities or products. Um uh Oh no, this is as your material life uh uh no your material quality of life. So as your material quality of life increases, when hua xiao fei. Um, so the costs of culture <laughs> um, increase. Yeah, 消费, right? Consumption? Ah, oh, no, not the cost, the consumption. The consumption of culture. Yeah, I get that one wrong. 消费, it's not the same. Consumption and expenses. So so usually you would expect something else. So as this proceeded, something else changed. Changed. Yeah, this is a good example. So as so people's like physical strength as as their age increases, like recedes, right? Right away, weakens. What do they call it? Decline. I think recede. Recede is a better choice. Fail is not appropriate. Decline. Decline works. <laughs> yeah, sweet. So that may 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 very well be our grammar. One of the grammar points, because this is an important one. Maybe it's not. Sweetie, sweetie, uh, is one of the grammar points. 
Sweetie, I don't know. Sweetie is not that hard, right? It just means soon after. Whereas Sweetie, this is very important. This is used all the time. Next, Sweetian, Sweetshow. Sweetian, Sweetian, Sweetshow. Sweetshow. I think are all the same. Sweetie is kind of similar. Sweetian. Like any body, sweisho, any hand, sweiko, any mouth. Just this way is kind of arbitrary here. So, so in China you'll see, um, yeah, sweisho guanmen, something like that. So it means there's no restriction on who's allowed to close the door. Um, yeah, well, I'll show you signs. Sweisho guanmen, or guandiao kongtiao. Sui shou guanmen. Yeah, sui shou Yeah, this is what you see in China. What does it mean? So there's a door. Sui shou Um Yeah, they translate it to please close the door. That's fine. Keep door closed, maybe. It's more like you don't need some kind of authority, right? So any hand, including yours, can close this door. You're allowed to close this door. It's basically what it's saying. Yeah, you see see these signs all over China. Um, so usually it's encouraging you to close the door, um, maybe because there's uh, air conditioning and they don't want the hot air to come in or they don't want the cold air to come in, depending on um, the season, something like that. Or, yeah, mm. and so on. So suishou, um, any hand. I'm not sure. Uh, are any of those translations good? So it's kind of, maybe we don't have this concept in English. It's like arbitrary hand, arbitrary hand. So it, I, I, when I see this, it's like, just close the door. You don't need some kind of authority. You don't need a permission. You can close the door. We're saying you can close the door. That's how I interpret that. Suishou. Um, yeah, so Suishin, Suikou are kind of similar. Suishin, Suishin. Because you use hands to close doors, you say Suishou Guanmen. <laughs> um, Suishin is kind of anybody in the sense of an arbitrary body. <laughs> um, it seems like it's a bit slow today. What if I use this? Suishin. Is that helping? Not especially. Suishin? Ah! Oh. Yeah, no, I said the wrong thing. Suishin is different. Um, no, Suishin is different. Ignore, ig cancel out that. Suishou and Suikou are the same. Suikou, right? Uh, oh, no, that's different as well. <laughs> No, I'm I am wrong. I am wrong. I um okay. So, what where should I where should I go here? Okay, social. Typically in social government. Social government. Social government. So anyone's allowed to close that door. Is it if there's a sign next to it says social government? Um, usually it's like they don't want to get up over and over again throughout the day. Suishin, yeah. No, I thought they were the same. I was I was wrong. <laughs> um, suishin. Um, so suishin usually comes with xie dai. Suishin xie dai. So yeah, this is follow. This sui is follow. So suishin. Um, with your body, xie dai, carry with you, like your personal belongings. Um, yeah, so ID cards at all times. Yeah, with your body. Yeah, um, is it used in, what else do you use it with? Yeah, you can see. Yeah, you see this at the airport. 
or in like the bathroom or something. Um, so you should move in. Um, is it kind of hard? That's not correct. Wei Sheng Jian. It's like a sign. Should I say Python? What is this? Ting Shui. So this is what it looks. These are the signs you find in bathrooms in China. Um, Russia. Um, where are the other ones? There was a whole bunch of other ones. That's not the one I want. <laughs> bian Ho. This Bian is uh, like a euphemism for um, urinating and defecating. <laughs> bian Ho, Qing Chong Shui. Um, Fei Zhu Rong Rong Zhu. This character I only ever see in the bathroom. I think it's like Lu or Lo or something. Um, but where are the other ones? I want the other ones. Um, this one. Yeah. Uh, ting xie dai sui shen wu pian. Yeah, please. Oh, okay. It's translated please carry your belongings. It means don't forget your belongings. You, you see signs like this in the bathroom. It's not translated very accurately. Um, is there any, is there any more? Yeah. Um, Ting xie dai bing bao guan hao sui shen wu pian. Yeah, bao guan hao. Let's use that one. Bao guan hao sui shen wu pian. Bao guan hao. Yeah, here we go. Uh, <laughs> where is this? Sui shen wu pian. Sui shen wu pian. So you see these signs in bathrooms and airports and things like that um, in China. All right, just to remind you, you you're forgetting your phone or something like that. Station mm -hmm. Upian. So so it seems like we should remember Station Upian and Station Xie uh, Dai. So let's jot those down. Station Upian. Station. And can you see? I hope you can see. Suishen. Xie Dai. Um, xie Dai is a little tricky to write, isn't it? So that. Not 100% sure I got that correct. I'll check. Uh, moment. Maybe I'll check on Clicker. Suishen. Yes, here, die. No, I got it upside down. Got it upside down. <gasps> That's a tricky one. Show. Oh, Jigger. You should cheer or something like that. Oh, Jigger should nay. All right. Um, since I said the wrong thing about Suiko, I will just um, move on. Um, next is Sui Bian. Um, Sui Bian and Sui Yi. Sui Shi. Okay, Sui Shi, Sui Di kind of go together. Um, these mean arbitrarily. Sui Bian. So it kind of means whatever you prefer kind of thing. Sui Bian. Um, I remember one time, so... So uh, when I used to live in Tianjin, I'd arrive at the airport in Beijing and take the bus from Beijing to Tianjin. Um, they did have seat numbers on the tickets. However, sometimes there was only like three people on the bus. So the bus driver would say, Sui bian. Sui bian. Just sit wherever you like. <laughs> but if, there were, if the bus was filled, yeah, you had to see, sit where you were assigned. Sui bian. Um, yeah, so bien. let's look at the photos. I think it's all already uh, commonly used somewhat metaphorically. So bien, the jin jung is she wo la de xiang le, no, wo, wo lan de xiang le. 
，呃，但你必须做出让我满意的选择。啊、uh, ，So this is a, a little joke. Do you understand? Show me. Can I see the image? Oh, I downloaded it. I don't want to download it, but anyway. Um. So this is a a joke. So presumably this is a husband and wife or a couple or something like that. They're at a restaurant, and the woman is like, "Sui bian." Um. It looks like she's saying "sui bian." Um. Like it doesn't matter. I'm happy with anything. But the man is thinking. A、uh, man is realizing that well, if he chooses the wrong thing, she'll get angry. Despite saying "sui、um, bian,"、um, so she's saying, "Oh, you can order whatever you like. That's fine."、Um, so usually in Chinese restaurants, you order meals to share, whereas in Western restaurants, you order your own meal.、Um, so it's a little bit different.、Um, Yeah, so if the man orders two dishes and the woman doesn't like them, yeah, it might be a problem.、Um, but she's kind of implying, ah,、oh, it's okay, I'm pretty relaxed. But it's like, no, he does not believe that. So, sui bian. So, presumably, she said sui bian. Sui bian de zheng zheng yi si. So the true meaning of sui bian in this context, shi. Wo lan de xiang le. Okay, wo lan de xiang le. So this is a grammar structure in Chinese. Wo lan de pa pa pa. It means、uh, I'm too lazy to do X. Wo lan de X. Wo lan de guan men. Wo lan de、um, xue xi. This sort of thing.、Um, okay. So wo lan de xiang le. So the the woman is too lazy to think about what she wants to eat. Then ni bi xu zuo chu rang wo man yi de xuan ze. But you must、uh, choose something that makes me satisfied. <laughs> so the the man looks a bit worried. So it's a, it's a joke.、Um, yeah, it's a bit of a joke.、Um, yes,、yeah, so、bien. What's this? Hui pang de qi ni le mei yi si tai yong kou le. I can't. Uh, remedy. Uh, ma ah, remedy. <laughs> Malatang. Okay, no, that's not helping. 随便，出去随便走走吧。Um, she looks like a Chinese teacher. <laughs> um, lingo Chinese. 随便， yeah, 随便走走， go wherever you like. 随便你啊。Do what you like. It's not.、Uh, it's not like in.、Um, I don't know. You've got to kind of somewhat re read between the lines when you encounter this word.、Um, do what you like implies a lot of the time implies do what I like, but it doesn't literally mean that, right? Would you know, 随便都行 Yeah, 随便都行 Like do what you like kind of thing. It's not. If someone said that to you in English, do what you like. It's usually like they're angry at you. Sibian do xing wo ok. Sibian, yeah. All right, so sibian is a an ad、uh, adverb, right? Sibian, or it's also a verb. Sibian, ni sibian ba. Wo sibian zou zou. Yeah, so it sounds like it's a verb and an adverb to me. Na qu sibian qu. So choose what you want、um, and eat it. <laughs> 随便吃 eat it when whenever you want, right? 我要随便亲我 Ah, okay. Do not kiss me as you please. Um, okay. 随便花钱 like spend money. <laughs> what is this? This looks like a joke. Oh, this is my Facebook. Uh, oh, it's okay. It didn't give away my information.、Um, okay. Uh, 等一下，晚餐要吃什么？男友，随便。<laughs> okay. So we had one that was kind of 
like making fun of women, now we'll have one that's kind of making fun of men. So war, presumably war is like the wife in this relationship. Um, and it's like, uh, okay, what would you like for dinner? This xia doesn't mean um, to wait. It means after a while or in a while, what are you going to eat? For, what do you want to eat? Sui bian. And the, so the wife's like cooking sui bian. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, okay. Um, I don't think I've given away any of my Facebook information, so we'll survive. I should watch out for that in future. Sui bian. Um, oh, sui bian ni, sui ni de bian. Oh, yeah, that is a uh, li he zi, sui ni de bian. Um, we'll do it according to your what's convenient for you or according to what you want. Sui bian ni, what does that mean? I don't know that one. Can we click on it, see what happens? Sui ni de bian. Yeah, we'll do it according to what you want. As you wish. Okay, oh, this is it. Is it, the, it is that one. It just looks a bit weird. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to do this, but I just want you to shut up. <laughs> so, so you need a bien. Uh, you go, you go. So you need a bien. Yeah, what is so you bien? I don't know. So you bien, it's up to you. Hmm, okay. I don't. I usually just go, ting need a. Ting need a. You say, what ting need a? You say, what ting need a? You say, what ting need a? Sounds a bit rude, doesn't it? <laughs> um, 我听你的 都听你的都听你的都听你的都听你的 oh, there's a novel called 听你的 I feel like I've read this novel It looks similar Or oh, maybe it's a common cover style you need a means we'll do it according to whatever you say. Um, don't say this unless you're actually going to do it. Like, uh, yeah. So sometimes it's nice to present a few options to someone and get them to choose. Um, so yeah, sometimes it's, if you give them no options, they won't. They will struggle to choose. If you give them a few options, they'll choose the one they want. Um, and if they think they're all good, they'll just say that, and then you choose whichever one you want. Mm. But it, it is sometimes hard to get information out of people. You, you need to understand the detail. Um, What's the other one? Tingida, Yeah, all right. Um, oh, yeah, I, there's a, there's a chung yu. Wu chang fu sui. Wu chang fu sui. So this, um, I've, I've been using this Chung Yu, um, um, an edited version of this Chung Yu. Wu Chang Fu Sui. This is like traditional Chinese like, patriarchy, right? Wu Chang Fu Sui. The Fu means husband. Wu Chang Fu Sui. The Fu means wife, right? So the husband sings and the wife follows. So that implies marital marital bliss, right? So I've been, I sometimes use ni, ni chang wo sui. It's like, oh, I can't be bothered. Just we'll, we'll go do this. Can you use it? Ni chang wo sui. No. <laughs> but uh, uh, maybe it doesn't count. Like, but whenever I said it, everyone immediately understood what I meant. So I feel like that's just being creative. Ni chang wo sui. It's like, sometimes it's like, yeah, I don't know. We'll just do it, go with whatever. Sometimes, like, it's better to just let someone else lead. But sometimes if you have a project and you have too many people leading, it just makes everything go awry. Wu chang fu sui. No, wu chang fu sui. Wu chang fu sui. Sui bian. Yes, <laughs> Next, 
随时 ，OK， 随时随随地。These I think these 随 mean arbitrarily， 随时随地。They usually come together those two， like 随时随地，随时随地。They usually come together. But this sort of thing, like 随时 anytime anywhere. So 随时 anytime， 呃、uh, ，随地 any location. So yeah. Uh, uh, my, I do believe that "sui" here means arbitrarily. So, so at an arbitrary time or an arbitrary place, like, like not specified, non-specific. This sort of thing. Um. Yes. Okay. Sui shi sui di. Maybe like, uh, 就是电子书，电子书，呃，电子。This is probably what they're doing here. Reading 电子书 Um, or or just watch watch TV, okay. Watch TV, 就是随随时随地的活动 right? So you can read an electronic book wherever you like. 你呃携带你的电子书 um, 也可以随时随地 um 看书，就是很方便。如果你坐地铁需要等三十分钟 um, yeah, 就是一个。啊，很好的活动，你可以看书，等等。呃、uh, ，OK， 所以随时 at any time， 嗯、um, ，at an arbitrary time， like whenever you want kind of thing。随地 is an arbitrary location wherever you want。随时随地，嗯、um, ，Yeah， I think the 随 is 随 ，OK， 随意 is used in mathematics， right？ 随意 ，this is the arbitrary. So presumably here, 随意选择一个鸭子，对吗？随意，随意。Um, oh, as one wishes. Really? Then what's the word for arbitrary? Am I wrong again? <laughs> Rainy. Ah,、oh, sorry, no. Rainy, it's arbitrary. So, sui. Then I, my impression that sui means arbitrary might be a little bit wrong. Hmm, sui, according to sui. Okay, so presumably this is according to e your what you want kind of thing, desire, yuan yi, ah,、uh, this sort of thing. Sui yi de. Yeah, I thought "rian yi" works arbitrary.、Uh, okay, 不经审讯 Um, okay, 随意扣押是常有的 Arbitrary. Yeah, I thought it was arbitrary. So it's arbitrary, but this is not like random. It's arbitrary in the sense of Mm. Without justification,、mm. in the sense of arbitrary detention. No, Ren Yi Ju Liu. Sui Yi. Ah, this one. Fire at will. Sui Yi Kai Chang. Yeah, let's jot that down. Sui Yi Kai Chang. This is not a person called Will. This is、uh, as you wish kind of thing. Sui Yi. Chang, um, so you can chang, which yeah, so you can chang. So fire it will. So it's the at will, right? Um, yeah, maybe I shouldn't search for that in the image search. 随意开枪，啊，他们穿着随意。Okay, so this is they dressed、um, as they wanted. 穿着随意。Yeah, let's jot that down as well. So it's not. A, it's somewhat meaning. Somewhat means arbitrary, but it's more like according to one's personal preference,、um, not through a, like a a rigorous process, etc.
啊，穿着随意。我的纠正带在哪儿？穿着随意，穿着，嗯，随意，穿着随意，你随意，所、so、以 maybe 的随随便的随，随便，嗯。Kind of so, 随随便 also you can use as kind of a an interjection. 随便 don't care. 随便 um, do as one pleases. 随便去，我就是随便问问 Yeah, this one. 随便问问就是嗯嗯，就是 making chit chat kind of thing. 随便 okay, me. This is like meaning 马虎什么，随便什么时候来都行。嗯，随意，随心。Oh yeah, have you encountered this one? 随你的心，随心。Yeah， 随心如如意。Okay, let's jot down 随心。We'll add that to the list. 随心，随心，随心，耶。嗯，随心所欲。All right. 嗯，随意抽查。Yeah, this is not. This is arbitrary. Um, random. Yeah. 随意选择。随意涨价。This is unpredictable. 随意停下来。So adjective, adjective, verb. All right. Anyway. Okay. Next. Oh wait. We did 随随时随。Did we do 随口 ？We didn't do 随口。随口。Oh, we didn't do 随。I'm doing them out of order this time. So. Uh, 随口 me was not what I thought. So this sway, this is this is like without enough thought kind of thing. 不经思考，信口说出 speak carelessly. 嗯，随口答应，随口答应，他他是随口说的，嗯，别当真 ，yes. Sometimes, yeah, I'm going to count this as maybe I don't know. Sometimes, if you people want an immediate answer rather than the correct answer, so maybe that's appropriate. So, blurt、um, out whatever comes to mind. Speak thoughtlessly or casually. Maybe I say speak casually. Speak. Speak casually, okay. 好，随口。Um, we didn't do 随从 What is 随从？从是那个服从的从，对吗 ？Maybe it just means follow. Yeah. 跟随，随从。Okay, 随从，远远。So this is literally just following someone, a person following another person. I 随从你走南闯北，走南闯北，闯北。啊，什么世面没见过 ？Okay, 跟随。So this is this is just follow. What is that word? Retinue. What is retinue? I don't know that word. Sweet entourage. A company. This seems to be the relevant definition. Sui Tong Ren Yuan. Ah, yeah, I have encountered this. Sui Tong Ren Yuan. Yeah. So this is like your squad. Sui Tong Ren Yuan. So say, let's say you're the prime minister, and you have your 
随随从从云云。Then you, you have to go around with your security detail, etc., etc. Um, 随从人员 Uh, okay. So one of these is an important, or oh, maybe more, more. Uh, what do they get? Yeah. One of them, at least one, is particularly important. Maybe multiple are particularly important people for some reason. Here, okay. So these two people. Look like they've won some competition. Um, new, new Bing, more new Bing. I mean, it's like a ping pong show. Maybe they've won some kind of like a table tennis tournament. <laughs> um, this this guy is likely their coach. Um, okay, so Gun Sui Jie Tamen, Jie Shi Tamen de Sui Chong Ren Yuan. All right. <laughs> The entourage. So, oh, this looks like a diplomatic mission in Africa, South Africa. Um, so, all these people are, are accompanying the different uh, politicians and diplomats and whatever. So, that's their entourage. Um, how would you say squad in the sense of like, like celebrities? Squad. Um, it's used somewhat comically, somewhat jokingly. Um, squad. Yeah, maybe maybe I'm not going to find this in dictionary. Um, not a firing squad. <laughs> it's a squad. Like celebrities have their squad. Uh, they group together and form a squad. Um, maybe that's modern slang. All right. Uh, all right. So, so what do we? We're going to put Sui Tong Ren Yuan here. Sui Tong Ren Yuan. Sui Tong Ren Yuan. This is your entourage. Sui Tong. Sui Chong just just means follow, but it seems more formal. Tong. Hmm. Seems a bit more formal. It's not like. Your dog follows you to buy milk. Um, it's yeah, a team of people follow the prime minister during his negotiations. Kind of thing. Okay, that's the impression I'm getting. Um, Gunswe, yeah, Gunswe. We know this one, right? This is the literal problem. Gunswe. Let's just look at photos. Gunswe. 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 Yeah, Gunswe. Like following. Uh, you Yesu de Buxing. Okay, so these these children are well. Maybe this is a whole family. They're following Jesus and a bird. It seems as well. Uh, Indian Gun Sui Yesu. Oh, okay. So so there's a lot about Jesus here, isn't there? Why is there a bird? I don't know. I like the bird. All right, so there's a lot of religious stuff here, um, particularly Christianity. Um, I think it, uh, this is like cartoons, maybe animation. So this one, uh, this is the, a song, right? Yesu ting water hu chiu. Okay. All right, there seems to be a lot about Christianity. Lai, Gun Sui Wo, follow me. Um, this is not what I was expecting. Um, there's, there's a lot of religious images in uh, in Google image search. Yichun Ji Jo, Gun Sui Zai Ta De Ho Bian. Yeah, a group of reporters followed her. So can it go? Can a dog follow me? Well, come on. Gun Sui. Mm. Yeah, there's Gun Gunji as well. Gunji. Mm. Yeah, all right. Let's go to um, Zhao Ju. 
uh, maybe my mm, so I, I'm starting to realize that for some, it's it the, it's the Wi-Fi in this place. Uh, every now and then it just doesn't work for a minute or so. Um, it's kind of annoying, but that's life. Oh, yeah. I don't think it's caused by anything else. It's just that the Wi-Fi here is like that. Yeah. 他的狗总是跟随在他左右. Um, this is all your means left and right, presumably. It follows follows at his side. Yeah. Uh, maybe that's not relevant. Oh. So follow. It just means follow. <laughs> All right, next, qi. So this qi um, means like strange, unusual, miraculous, or maybe not miraculous, but interesting. Qi, curious. Shen qi, hao qi, xin qi. What's this? Xi qi. Mm, xi qi. Uh, qi guan, qi miao. Yeah, qi miao is kind of miraculous, right? Qi te, qi, qi ying. I don't know that one. Qi tan, qi ji. Tian qi bai guai. Okay, so I don't know this one and this one. The rest. Bi qi, xi qi, I don't know, but I look at the characters. I'm pretty sure I know what it means. So it's like, by the time I reach for my pen and mark it, I've already worked out what it means. Shenti, yeah. So that's the name of the Shenti, the Sigwa. Um, it says magical. It's not really magical, is it? It's just it's a, a fruit, um, or a vegetable, or both. Shenti, Shen, Shen, mm, kind of pertains to gods and things like that. Qi, Qi Guai, right? Strange. Um, where's Qi Guai here? You probably encountered Qi Guai. Actually, Qi Guai has two meanings, right? Qi Guai is like, Jigaren, Kahan Qi Guai. Very strange. Gu Guai, eccentric. Qi Guai. Um, it also means curious or baffled. Like, Wahan Qi Guai. Jigaren, Wai Shima, Jai Anzo. Nai Anzo. Right? It means, oh, I'm baffled. Oh, why is that? So it doesn't mean I am strange. It means I am baffled. When you use it for yourself, it means I am baffled. When you use it on someone else, it's like they're very strange. It could also mean they're, they're baffled as well, I guess. Yeah, anyway. I think the qi means like strange in the sense of like miraculous or curious. And the shen just implies a large degree. What things are shen qi de? I would um, the um Pokemon Shenti Bao Bei X Y. Uh, I don't know what that means. That's not exactly the best example. Shenti the Mars. So this is actually magic. So maybe this magic. Yeah. Is it a bruise? A magic bruise? So, so this Shen is giving me impressions. It's do you know the, there's a story in Chinese called Shen B Ma Liang. Shen B Ma Liang. Hmm. So Shen Bi Ma Liang, Ma Liang has a magic pen, and the magic pen, um, whatever he draws with this magic calligraphy pen, um, it, it comes to life, right? Xian Shi Ban, Shen Bi Ma Liang, yeah, three kingdoms, um, really? 
So yeah, so this is Maliang. Maliang paints a fish and suddenly there's a fish. Um, question B, Maliang. Yeah, here he paints a boat with a storm and then suddenly, yeah, it exists. Question B, Maliang. Um, okay, so what was I doing? Oh yeah, so sh maybe Shen Ti de Shen is it is magical. Maybe it is magical. Um, usually we tend to translate magical to more far. Shen Ti Shen Miao are Ti Te. Yeah, Ti Te. This is a, this is. Hmm, okay, it says peculiar, queer, unusual, but this is I think a positive word. 奇特侧重奇异极少见奇特甚至有些怪异 strange 奇特 alright anyway where, where were we 奇特 神奇 so let's have a look. So maybe it literally means magical. And here it's just saying magical in the sense of in, uh, figuratively. It's not really magical. Hmm. <coughs> Mm, okay. Mini. <laughs> we saw that one. Uh, Magical natural phenomenon? That sounds like um, an oxymoron, right? If it's natural phenomenon, then it's not magical. <laughs> Used figuratively, I guess. So this one is, it makes me feel wonder hmm what is shen miao so shen qi de shen is shen miao yeah it's not magic it's not really relating to magic is it ji qi gao ming qiao miao wonderful marvelous shen miao de beef the beef ah yeah Hmm, I don't know. I think it just, okay, it means like marvelous, wonderful, and the qi indicates it's unique. Qi te. Yeah, something different about it. All right, I want to go to the bathroom. One second. All right, we're good. Um, next, hao qi. Yeah, this one, hao qi. Two meanings, they're a bit different, hao qi. This is also a fourth tone. Huh? Um, yeah, hao qi. You need to know both these meanings, hao qi, because they're both very common. Um, okay. 对不了解的事物感到新奇,发生兴趣. Um, oh, sorry, I'm saying the... Oh, I'm thinking of not of hao qi, of qi guan. Hao qi, no, it's one meaning. Um, meaning um, this, curious, Yeah, I'm curious. Yeah, okay, we know that one. Sorry, I was thinking getting muddled up. Anyway, I guess 新奇 and 新奇 are similar concepts. Um, this T means curious, and it is curious because it is new, and this is curious because it is rare. 
I'm guessing that's the definition. Xinqi. Xinying qi te. Okay, so this is novel and unique, strange, strange but not in the negative sense, I think. Xinqi uh, de hua hui pin zhong. Hua hui pin zhong. Like new mm, cultivars of breeds of flower. New and unique novel, strange in the sense of different from the norm. Xinqi de xiangfa, novel idea. Yeah, it's not negative. Ta chu dao kuang shan shi. Chu chu jue de xinqi. So Kuang Shan is a mine, mining mountain or a mo mountain that's being mined. So when he was first, when he first arrived at the mine, everything was new and surprising. Yeah. And I'm guessing Xi Qi is much the same. Xi Qi. It's, it's interesting and curious because it's new. Uh, no, not new because it's rare. Xiao Jian rare are Xin Qi. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it's rare and new and curious. Xi Qi Shi, Xi Qi Gu Guan, Xi Qi Gu Guan, Xi Qi Gu Guan. Is that really the phrase? Xi Qi Gu Guan. Isn't it Xi Qi Gu Guan? Xi Qi Gu Guan. Is it really Xi Qi Gu Guan? Li Qi Gu Guan? Xi Qi Gu Guan? Hmm. Alright, anyway, we don't need to talk about that one. Let's talk about Xi Qi. Xi Qi. Bu Yao Xie Zuo Xi Qi. Okay, I won't. <laughs> the Xi is. um. Xi Shao de Xi, right? Xi Shao. Um, there's a few other words with that. We've encountered, oh, Jen Xi, yeah. So Jen meaning precious and Xi meaning rare. So precious and rare. Xi Shao, Xi Fan. Oh, that's something else again. Xi <laughs> uh, Fan, what is it? This. Yeah, that's just another meaning altogether. Xi Shu. This is fast or something like that. You and scattered, yeah. Yes, okay, C T. Yeah, this is all my study. Zhe dong si bing bu, C T. So not rare and strange. It's like maybe nothing to get excited about. Xu ye xia xue, uh, zai zhe, bu shi shen me C T de shi. Okay, so it seems like they're using it in negative sentences a lot. So it's not a big deal. It's nothing, nothing rare nor strange. <clears throat> yeah, again, it's kind of, this is a rhetorical question. So maybe they're pointing out there's nothing unique and special and rare and um, curious about it. Okay. Peculiar. Ah. Uh, Okay, so so is it funny, strange, or funny, haha? -ha? Um, yeah, this was from a movie, was it not? Maybe some famous movie. Am I funny, strange, or funny, haha? -ha? So this is Xi Qi Gu Guan, funny, strange, Hai Shi, Hua Ji Ke Xiao, comical and laughable. Um, yeah, anyway. Xiqi, where are we? Xiqi. Qiguai. Um, Qiguai, this is the one I wanted to talk about that has two meanings. Qiguai. Um, here. Okay. Xiqi xiao de. Yi hu xun chang de. Yi hu xun chang. This is like a um, bu zheng chang, like a yi chang. Yeah, so this is unusual, 奇怪. Okay, 太空中有许多奇怪的现象. Okay, that sounds very neutral to me. Next, 
出人意料、难以想理呃难以理解的、难以理解。So it's unexpected and hard to understand. 最近他的语言性让人觉得奇怪，也让人觉得奇怪。That doesn't mean they're strange people. It means they feel strange, right? Um, yeah. So this is, I think, this is why when you hear Chinese people speaking in English, they often say, "I feel strange." It's like, what? <laughs> so, please, you don't, you don't say that in English. I feel strange. It, like, oh, okay. Do you want to sit down and have a rest or something? I, I don't know. Until you don't feel strange anymore. <laughs> But I think it, you feel strange in English means you feel sick, right? Yeah.、Um, maybe you feel dizzy or like confused. Like confused in the sense of you can't tell the direction, what, which way you're walking, and so on.、Um, But in Chinese, it's kind of like. Something unexplained, something confusing is happening. Do you get it? Yeah. Okay. So here it's functioning as a verb. What? What? How? 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 So functioning as a verb. Yeah, it's very interesting. So I'm fairly sure if you go back to your textbook, it will describe "how" as strange. It's very strange. It's very strange. Um, and they leave off all the other meanings, and these meanings are pretty common. Ta chi guai? No, wo chi guai? Ta zhe me bu lai? Yeah, this doesn't mean I'm strange. It means I'm curious. Ta men dou chi guai? Ni wei shen me yao zi ji? I'm no. They're all curious as to why you would quit. Wo men dou chi guai? Wei shen me zhe er di er er xiao shi? 就是办不了。We're all curious as to why this little matter is unresolvable, etc., etc. This one, 奇怪的声音 This is a strange noise. 奇怪，奇怪的现象 Strange phenomenon. Yeah, here it's not a big deal. These are kind of neutral, maybe slightly negative. 这个问题呃提的很奇怪 It's a strange question to raise. Okay, yeah. There's a space missing there. 各有各的爱好，没有没什么奇怪。萤火虫很奇怪，呃，身体能发光。No， 发光不是发光，发光。All right， 一点一点，奇怪。Next， 奇妙。We saw this already. 奇妙 ，kind of like miraculous, marvelous, wonderful. Wonderful in the sense of full of wonder. Um. Okay. Uh, 神奇美妙 Yeah, 奇妙的大自然 Yeah, wonderful nature. Um, 世界真奇妙 The world's full of wonders. Yeah, that's fine. 奇妙 Next, 奇特 Ah,、uh, we encounter this as well. 奇特 So this is 与众不同 right? I don't think it's very negative. Tito. Strange, or special. I don't know. Maybe it is negative. No, more like yeah, unique or unusual. In the Shan region, we often can see unusual phenomena. Maybe it's neutral. Should we ask ChatGPT? I don't know if ChatGPT is awake.、Hmm. Hey,、uh, hey, can you help me? I'm particularly interested in if it's a negative entity. 奇特，这种 adjectives right？ 嗯，神奇 adjective， 好奇，我很好奇。This is a verb， 好奇，好奇的事情。I think function is an adjective as well。新奇，稀奇 adjective adjective， 奇怪 adjective 奇啊、uh, 奇怪 also the verb but it's a little bit it's usually it's a little bit、uh, different。
奇妙adjective奇特adjective 奇怪,奇怪,奇怪,奇怪,奇怪,奇怪,奇怪,奇怪,奇怪,奇怪,奇怪,奇怪,奇怪,奇怪,奇怪,奇怪,奇怪,奇怪,奇怪,奇怪,
So this didn't help very much. Indeed. It's just the name, uh, name of computer games. Sometimes I like to say something is a xiao qi ji, a small miracle. Xiao qi ji. Da xiao mao, uh, yu zai. Xiao qi ji. Yu zai. So, this is a baby panda. Baby panda is a small miracle. Yeah. Oh, is that the name of the xiao qi ji in the panda? What? Yeah, so sometimes it's like I might say something like Do you reckon that's like a little, little miracle? Little wonder? So in English, little wonder does not mean the wonder is not qiji. It means little one. It's like nanguai. Nanguai. You don't need to wonder as to how this was caused. You know, it's obvious why there were clashes. Um, so, so this is a bad translation. Uh, shi, what the, what is that? Is that a Chinese character? It's not in my dictionary. Uh, it's just a little miracle, so you need to believe. Okay, xiao qi ji. Qi ji. Now, there is a So only a miracle can save her now. Yeah. It's very similar to English, I think. Qi ji. Qi ji is a noun and nothing else, right? Yeah, it's a noun, nothing else. Ah, <laughs> the Yeah, the miracles of, of modern medicine. a miraculous recovery. Yeah. <laughs> And next, uh, yeah, it just means strange, like very strange, lots of strange things, right? Lots of strange things. Okay. 形容, uh, 树稀奇古怪, 各种各样, all kind of strange things. Something like Harry Potter, right? The Harry Potter universe, Harry Potter, you Li. So maybe I should say Harry Potter you draw So this is just looks like it's just strange. It's just one strange thing, not millions of strange things. Hello. Oh, maybe this is the name of this site or web page or something. And this is one of them. This is a Hai Bao. Is it Hai Bao? Hai Bao. Hai Bao. Not that Hai Bao, not a poster. Hai Bao. Yeah, Hai Bao. Hai Bao Lai. Shuo Yi Jing Hello. Oh. Hai Bao. Shu Xie. 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 Shu uh, 突然, uh, 走来了, 就, uh, 笑了大笑, uh, yeah, yeah, strange. So it looks like lots of strange things or um um lots of strange things or maybe like very strange. I think it's more lots of strange things. Drun. Okay, so this is a doin. So here we're studying drun, meaning revolve. The other one is drun. 
um, John meaning like, uh, what's the word? Treatises, I think. Do you know uh, Yao Ma? Yao Ma Dran. It's a movie. Yao Ma Dran. The Chronicles of the Demon Cat. What was it called in English? Something in that ballpark. It's Dran. It's like Chronicles. Uh, all right. So my my Wi-Fi has decided to do that thing again. So we'll just we'll just move on. Okay. Dran. Dran meaning revolve, ro rotate. Dran yan. To like rotate your eyes, right? Dran yan. Oh. Uh, <laughs> not sure if I'm doing that right. Dran shin. You just turn around. Dran go shin. Like you do, man. Uh, Dran to. Dran to. Dran go to. Dran go. Dran go to. Dran yan. What is dran yan? Oh, maybe that's not literal. This is turn face. Dran yan. Kind of similar in English, actually. Dran yan. Maybe change topic or change faith or change belief. Dran bian. Like turn into dran xie. To, this is like to change major, I think. Dran wei. To transform into. Hmm. Dran shun. Don't know that one. Bao dran. A turn for the better. Uh, wei dran. Turn back, I guess. This, this is kind of what I'm guessing. Um, so let's go check. Yeah, this is Yao Mao Dran. This is the movie. So this is fourth turn. Yao Mao Dran. Oh, Yao Mao Dran is that Dran. No, the other Dran. So we're looking at this one with Chua. Yeah, sorry, I said the wrong thing again. But there is a Dran. Dran. Whoa. <laughs> So, whoa. Dran. So this is Dran Ji to Dran, right? Dran Ji. This Dran Ji. To, cha like, to change flights midway, right? Dran Ji, what is it? Dran Ji to change planes. Ah, oh, yeah. Turn for the better. Okay. Dran. Dran. What's the other Dran? Dran. Rali Dran. Rao. Le Dran. Is that a rally Dran? Is that right? Not sure. Like, so if this goes around here, one revolution, that's E Dran, right? Uh, hmm. Not sure then. Sorry, but the other one, I got it mixed up with. There's also the, this character, which is not the same. This is Dran, right? This is Dran. So there's also, and there was also another pronunciation for this. Anyway, we'll look at this one. Pronunciation third time. Dran Yen. Uh, Dran Yen. Dran Yen means to rotate your eyes, but you also use it in Dran Yen, Dian, in the time it takes you to rotate your eyes. So in a short period of time. Dran Yen. Um, yeah, Dran Yen. So I think it's mostly used for the time, I guess, rather than the actual rotating of in the blink of an eye. Dran Yen. Dran Yen, woman do la la. Yeah, in the blink of an eye, we're old. <laughs> or Dran Yen Jian. Dran Yen Jian. Dran Yen Jian. Yeah, Dran Yen Jian. Dran Yen Jian. So in the blink of an eye, you've passed, gone 130 years. So that's probably the most common dran yen. Next, dran shen. I think this is literal turn around dran shen. Dran shen. It's this figurative turn around to face about, to remarry. Um, okay, okay, dran shen. Tanlander Dran Shen. Dran Shen. Yeah. Dran Shen. Turn back. Taman Kan Jian Woman Guo Lai Dran Shen Jiu Pao. So this is literally 
saw us, turned around, and ran away. Drunshin Pao turned and fled. Bido, this is that person. Bido. Hong Chongjue Bushu. Chongjue Bushu. All right, that's Chong. Kara Lu Shi. Drunshin Dui. Ba Guan Jiang Hua. Yeah, okay. So it looks like it's physically turning your body around. Mm. Okay, next. Drun Tol. Yeah, I think this is also literal turning your head. Usually turning your head to look at something. Drun Tol. Drun Tol. Mm. Drun Guo Tol. Drun Guo Shen Mei. Ah, yeah, that's the other one. You need to say Drun Guo Shen Mei. Drun Guo Shen Mei. Drun Guo Shen Mei. Turn around. Yeah. So this is this is the order in which you put compliments. Mm. Uh, I think it's the same as well. So just turn your head. Oh, maybe it has another meaning here. Ah, oh, yeah, drun tol. So this is like a drill bit, is it? Drun tol. Uh, oh, okay, so there's also... Okay, drun tol. Literally to turn one's head, to change direction, yeah, more figurative. And then you turn vault, vaulty face. This is like, I don't know, to have a change in your uh, like life values and so on or whatever. To repent. Untold. So I think mostly it's literal. Uh, whoops. Run good hole. Run good hole. Seems like run good hole is also a thing. Run good hole. Yeah. It's like, oh, 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 run good hole. Revolve your head. Or tall. Turn around. What uh I think mostly it just means literally moving turning your head. Drawn tall huija. Oh so this is turn around. Uh ta diao drawn tall. What is this? Uh diao drawn tall. That's a bit different. Chong si fu ren drawn tall kamwa. Okay, so turned around, maybe with her body, maybe with her head. Mm. All right, uh, that's that's what that one is. Next is Drunnian. Uh, Drunnian. Uh, this is change of face. Drunnian. Yeah, I think this is different. This is like betray people. Drunnian. Really? To turn one in no time is not what I thought. Drunnian. Oh, Drunnian. Dwejet. Oh, no, then it is literally just turning one's face. Really? Mm. Okay, so maybe in... So it doesn't mean a turn of face. It doesn't mean you're betraying your original cause, then. Maybe I, it looks like I was wrong, then. I don't know what that means. Maybe I don't want to know what that means. Um, so let's ask Chelsea. Can you help me? Was it? Refer to change of face. <laughs> um, like as in a uh, major uh, change in one's values and between friendships. Friendships. So maybe it doesn't, maybe that's my English interfering with my Chinese. Yeah, I pressed enter, but give it a minute. Okay. 
Come on. I'm going to refresh the page. Alright. Yeah, that's what I thought. Behavior and attitude suddenly changing. Yeah, a sudden change in um uh, standpoint or attitude. Yeah. That's what I thought. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's really harsh, but yeah, okay, turns face. So, so turning one's head or one's face, but like in a very negative sense. Like letting down your friends, can you? Yeah, that's what I thought it meant. But it's not, it really is, um, in note. Yeah. It's not in the in, not in the English dictionary, the pop-up dictionary. I think it means a change, turn of face, right? Mm, so this means in a short period of time. Yeah. This is like, this is more like, ah, oh, don't worry about it. Um, referee, look the other way. Ah, oh, this seems like, um, uh, is it 见而不学见而不学见而不见见而不见见而不见见而不见见而不见见而不见见而不见见而不见见而不见见而不见见而不见见见而不见见见而不见见见而不见见见而不见见见而不见见见而不见见见而不见见见而不见见见而不见见见而
，他从一个小偷转变成一一个对社会呃有用的公民。Yeah. All right. It's just another word that means change, right? 转学，转学，嗯、um, ，change major, right? 转学。呃，哦 ，it's not what I thought. It means it 转念。No, that's different as well. So this is to change school. No, not exactly what I was thinking. Transfer one school to another. Transfer. 学生从呃从所在学校转往另一个另一所学校学习 Okay, change school, not change major. All right, so let's have a look at how do you say change major? Ah,、uh, okay, so 转职业呃转专业转专业 is that right? 改转改变 No, this is change university. Major one. One right, right here.、Mm, all right, maybe that's not important. You just use normal. You don't don't have a special term, maybe. Okay, drum way. Yeah, this is like transform into right drum way. The way means yeah into or becoming right. Kind of like is so changed so that it is so changed to. Looks like this is not a very common phrase. If there's no nothing in the dictionary, 花钱呃从活期存款转为定期存款 Okay, this feels like it's just two words to me. 转 is a word and 为 is a preposition. 转为 Okay, so diverted to, not changed but diverted to. 有拉力 ，What is 拉力 ？Rally， 拉力赛。Okay, I didn't know that word. 有拉力赛，转为呃场地赛。All right. So it's kind of a change or some divert or some like this. It was once that, but it's now that. 呃，乐曲由 C 大调转为 A 小调。All right. So this is changing faith, etc., etc. Okay. Next, 转瞬 right? 瞬间的瞬转瞬 Um. Ah,、uh, so it's kind of like 一转眼一转眼一转眼 Combining 一转眼 a short moment. Actually, this one is 一转眼 right? With 瞬瞬间 Also meaning, oh yeah, there's also 一眨眼 meaning a blink of an eye.、Um, seems like they're combining those into 转瞬转眼 Okay, 转瞬 Yet another word meaning in the short. Amount of time. Um. Okay. I don't know this word. 好转，好转。Um. Yeah. Turn for the better. 好转。向好的、有利的方向转化，也转化。So taking a term or transforming into something, uh, good or beneficial. 病情有点好转 ，so the 病情 is the medical condition has had a turn for the better. 情况正在好转，嗯，形势好转。Yeah, all right, that's kind of easy enough, right? 回转 ，so this is 回 is return, 转 is transform. So 回转 is kind of like 
No, it's turn around, go back, revert. Full fee. Uh, Sell tui diar. Fozo, ka chu hui zhang bu kai. So this is using the uh, grammar structure chu fei fozo. So unless this, otherwise this. So unless we dao tui dian, unless we go back a little bit, um, we will the uh, the car the truck hui zhang bu kai will not be able to hui zhang turn around. So you have to go back a bit in order to turn around, basically. Hui zhuan. Hui zhuan jia xiang hui zhuan ma tou. Hui zhuan jia xiang hui zhuan. Da hui zhuan. Alright, this does not seem like a very important word to me. If there's not many definitions in the dictionary, it's... Yeah, likely... Oh no, I don't think it... Uh, yeah, I'll make it green. If there's not many definitions in the dictionary, it's not going to be very important. Okay, next is law. Law means to fall down or droop or that sort of thing, downwards. And you probably know jiao luo. Um, why is jiao luo not there? Jiao luo. Jiao luo. Jiao luo meaning corner. Um, actually, jiao luo doesn't, the law doesn't really mean down though. So presumably all these mean um, downwards in some uh, in some sense or another. So uh, Jui Luo. Jui Luo. Jui Luo is like drooping. Oh, this will probably be in the text. Jui Luo. Uh, luo Xiang. Yeah, full droop. Shu uh, Shang de Ping Guo Dai Feng Zhong Fen Fen Jui Luo. Fen Fen meaning one by one. This is also another Grammar thing one by one. Okay, so the apple, uh, the apples and the apple tree in the wind just fell off one by one, or drooped or fell. Yeah. All right. Tree law. Um. Is there a tree law? Let's ask. Let's ask my dictionary. Tree law. Is that a word? Tree law. <laughs> yeah, this is what I would use for drooping. Tree law. Yeah, more tree law. Actually, tree law, yeah. Tree law is also falling as well. So it's not just, it's not just drooping, but also falling. Tree law. Um, yeah, so maybe I should think of tree law more as falling. Tree law. Is there a tree wall? This one. I see this sign sometimes. Um, when you're walking by places, it will say, oh yeah, Gao Kong Zhui Wu. So things might fall from a high place and bang you on the noggin. What's this one? Gao Kong Pao Wu. Yeah, Pao, Pao meaning to throw or abandon <laughs> from a high place. Yeah, these will injure these people. So this is telling people, do not throw things out your window. Uh, uh, Gao Kong Zhui Wu. Zhui Wu. Okay, so these Zhui Wu are falling. Zhui Luo. So it seems like falling is a better. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it looks like falling is better. Zhui Luo. Yeah, they look like they could. Zhui Luo. Seems very dangerous. Zhui Luo. Okay. So falling is better than drooping. And. Tree law seems better. Tree. Yeah, this one is better for drooping. Or treju. Treju. Maybe treju is better again. Oh no, treju is perpendicular. Tree. Tree law seems fine. Oh, it's not in the dictionary. What are the what are the alternatives then? Droop. Oh, xia tree. This one. Xia tree. So we use xia tree. Okay. <laughs> Sacking breasts. All right. You mean like a tree or something? <laughs> Liu. Whoops. Liu. Trying to make a video here. 
Liu Shu. So, Chui Xiang. I think this would be appropriate. Chui Xiang. Chui Liu. Ah, Chui Liu. So, Weeping Willow. Actually, it's quite similar to English. Weeping in the sense of drooping. Chui <laughs> Liu. Hmm. All right. So, I should think of Zhui Luo as falling rather than drooping. Okay. Uh, 降落. 降落, um, 也有降低, 降落, 有, it's this I think, 降落, just to descend, um, 降落, um, 降低, ah, 降低, descend, seems like, okay, reduce, lower, bring down, okay, so this is like, has a cause or something, 降落, Seems appropriate for planes. Jiang Luo. Okay. Um, why is there a plane there? Jiang <laughs> Luo. Hmm. All right. Um, Jiang. So there is another one, something like Jiang Luo, that means befall. Actually, let's go over here. Befall. Oh, Jiang Lin, yeah, this one. This is befall. So what are we? We're doing law. No, so we won't we won't do that one, right? Okay, uh Jiang Luo. So Chi Fei. Fei Ji Chi Fei, right how Jiang Luo. Um next, Piao Luo. Piao Luo. This Piao is Piao Fu the Piao, right? It's float in the air. Um Piao Fu. Um, oh, there's two Piaofus, aren't there? Piaofus. I think they're the same, right? Are they the same? Piaofu. Also written Piaofu. Yeah, they are the same. There's two writings for Piaofu. So Piao meaning butter float, hover. And Piao Luo. What does this mean? Float down gen. Ah, oh, so this is like like a feather or something, fluttering down, piao luo, leaves, leaves, feathers, okay, piao luo, piao luo de feng ye, feng is maple, feng shu is maple tree, so feng ye is maple tree leaves, or maple leaves, um, feng ye, feng luo de qiu ye, autumn leaf, yeah, piao, piao luo, luo meaning down, Okay, diao luo, um, fall down, diao luo, diao luo, um, it, uh, this would be an object, not like a person, diao luo. Mm, really? Diao luo, fall down? No, it's more object than people. Um, is there? We saw them, what were they falling? Zhui luo. Yeah, or law. Maybe it can be used with people. I mean, there's a, quite a number of examples. Maybe I'm just, yeah, I, I guess it can be. I think I said the wrong thing. Yeah, law. Okay, there's too many examples for it to not be true. But I think most of the time it is, yeah, uh, law. It is do something like this, like an air conditioning unit, I think. Yeah, law. Money falling. Um, yeah, leaves falling. More general, right? Yeah, law. Oh, I want to push that box in that gap there. Yo, Lord, Onkar. Is that like a game? It's like, I really just want to put that box in that gap. Yo, Lord, drop pairs. So, this is like a little joke in Australia. People say there's Kaola, Del Law, Xiong, drop pairs. Yeah. So, if you haven't been to Australia, people might tell you there's watch out for drop pairs. The koalas, they fall out of the trees. <laughs> um, yeah, it's somewhat of a joke. <laughs> okay, tree law, tree law, tree law. All right, things falling down. Coconut made tree law on your head. Uh, yet, yet. All right, next. Oh, I'm getting a little tired. How are we going for time? Oh, it's two hours. <laughs> I haven't finished a page yet. 
掉落，呃，嗯 ，is this 散落 or 散落 ？I'm not sure, honestly. 散落。散哦、oh, ，it's both， 散<笑>落 scattered and 散落 disperse。These look like they're 散落 ing。I'm gonna go with 散落。Be light。散落。All right, I don't recall this word before。All right, anyway, next, what's next？ 散落 ，I don't think it's that important。洒落 ，this is probably very similar。洒 meaning to sprinkle。洒落，洒落，金钱，对吗？洒落，嗯、um, ，some of these are Japanese， 嗯、um, ，they're all Japanese， that's not helping。All right， 洒落 ，to sprinkle down， yeah， it's just like two separate words。阳光洒落在温暖的雪块上 ，yeah。洒 ，it means sprinkle. Here it's used metaphorically, right? Sprinkle. 它擦掉嗯、um, 柜台上洒落的奶昔。奶昔 ，this milkshake. Oh, okay. Buy a candy. All right. <laughs> I do not know. 奶昔 All right. So you need to know the C. 奶昔 Okay. So she wiped. The spilt milkshake off the counter. Da here spill law. Spilt on. Yeah. All right. I don't think these are common. <laughs> What's next? What's next? Uh, salo. Salo. <laughs> I watch my video sometimes, and I, when I'm reading my book, I see my my ear. This ear. Like you have a good view of my ear, but not much else. Mm -hmm. So it's like I need need to sit back here and read my book from here. I, I lean forward when I'm reading. Salo, Rue Lo, ah yeah, Rue Lo and Rue Chu, sunset sunrise or Rue Lo, Rue Lo sunset right. Dial, Rue Lo. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Yeah. All right. So while we're waiting for that to work again, we'll just look at Rue Lo. Uh, 太阳从地平线降降下 Yeah, sunset. Um, verb and noun. Okay. Rue Lo, 西方红霞满天 Yeah, 红 red 霞 Uh, how would you describe xia? Xia <laughs> guan.、Mm, I don't know. This is I see this character in women's names a lot. Mantian,、mm, uh, yeah, fill the sky. Maybe it's like xia is like the 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 clouds during sunset or something like that. And the other one is ru chu, ru. True. Yeah. 日出而作，日落而息。日 OK. So this is OK. Get to work when there's at sunrise and go to sleep, or rest at、um, after sunset. Yeah. So we have 日落 and 日出 All right. That's not the best ever. True, but anyway. Next, 落后 Um, yeah, 落后 is a little bit different. 落后 here means to fall behind. Usually, fall behind in your studies or something like that. 落后落后这个人啊，正落后于所有的呃顶尖选手。So this person is falling behind the top players in performance, right? His performance is not as good as the top players. We need to be So we're lagging behind the world's、um, other places, the other places in the world. We need to be so far behind. 
Fall behind lag, yeah. Fall behind in your studies. Uh, fall behind in your studies. Yeah, okay. Maybe I'll just put it there to see what comes up. Uh, yeah, so they they want to avoid it. Falling behind other students. So it's not literally falling, not literally behind. Maybe it would be behind in like a marathon or something that that would work. But usually it's like behind in your studies or advancement or development or this sort of thing. Um, next, Luoxia. Um, yeah, all right. That probably means what you think it means. Luoxia. Lo means to go down. Luoxia means to go down, right? Luoxia. Luoxia. Hei bai qi luoxia. Okay, the black and white flag went down. Luoxia. All droop land. Okay. Uh, um, okay, so catch. So she caught the keys um, as they were falling. Okay, falling keys. Oh, this is different. This is Dilo. Dripped down and then Xialai. Yeah, all right. I think that means basically what you think it means. Luo <laughs> Hua. I'm not sure what Luo Hua is. Luo yeah, makes sense. Falling leaves. Uh, luo Di, it's Luo Zai Di Shang. Luo Hua. Yeah, Luo, Luo Xia. Okay, falling. Mm -hmm. Ruhu, Luo Hua. All oh, right, falling petals, maybe. Luo Hua. Um, Luo Hua. Yeah. So these cherry blossoms, when 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 the season's over, you can kind of shake them and the flowers fall down. <laughs> that sort of thing. Maybe that's what this is about. Luo Hua. All right. And the next one was Luo Ye, which I'm guessing you can kind of guess what it means. Luo Ye. Falling leaves. Luo Ye. Qiu Tian de Xiang Zheng. Which is Luo Ye. Luo Ye. Dead leaves. Um, yeah, Lord, yeah, lose the leaves, Lord, yeah, and the other one is Lord, yeah, Lord, yeah, so Lord, like, yeah, Lord, yeah, what is this? This is like a super power, uh, a superhero squirrel, Lord, yeah, oh no, Lord, yeah, this is all to the ground, Lord, like, yeah, Lord, yeah, maybe it's too, Lord, too, all to the ground or to land. So he, where the ball hit the ground, um, put a mark. Yeah. Okay, so he went flying, pyong! Like, the, he, he, as a person, went flying 20 yin chun, 20 feet away. He landed 20 feet away, hit the ground 20 feet away. Ta luo di shi, shuang jiao xian zhi, xian jiao di, jiao di. Feet first, yeah. Yeah, luo zai di shang. All right, I'm a little tired. Where are we going? Two hours? Yeah, I, I do need a rest. I can't do much more than two hours straight. It, it's taking me two hours per page-ish. Um, but here there's so many words. And what I'm finding is that if I study these extra words, they're the words that turn up in the um, workbook. These extra words, and if I dig deeper with the other words, then it makes it easier to understand the workbook. All right, I'm a little tired. It's time for a rest. Remember to do liking and subscribing and whatever else you do on YouTube. Comment. Um, you made so many mistakes today, Becky. Oh, okay, thanks. 
<laughs> um, yeah, I'm a little tired. I don't know why. I'll see you next time. Peace, Adja. Bye-bye.